you want to know the truth about the best program to follow, about the best diet and how you can get the most optimal results, well, this new study just come out and I want to share with you guys. Actually, I'm lying. I want to share with you guys the real truth. The real truth is that you can get big and strong, you can get lean, and you can get the body you want without having to do all these stupid, crazy things, right? I know we always hear, we're always looking for the next silver bullet, we're always looking for the best, optimal results. You know, what's going to give me the best results? How many meals should I eat a day? How many things should I do? But what you need to do is focus on the basics. The basics have been proven over and over again, and if you look at the best people, the most fittest people, they have mastered the basics, right? Let's start with the workout routine. What type of workout routine do you need to get the best results? Well, it's probably going to be full body exercises that you see everybody doing. When you're doing heavy compound lifting and you're doing the basic movements like the squats, the deadlifts, the bench press, the chin-ups, the pull-ups, the bent over row, all of those big movements, they are what are going to burn more calories. They are what is going to build more muscle. And you know why? It's because you're using a bunch of muscles together. You don't need a lot of isolation exercises because we're never going to just contract the bicep by itself. You're going to use other muscles. And at the end of the day, why are you doing isolation exercises? You can get bigger arms from doing heavier compound lifts. You can get bigger legs from doing squats. All of those things, like all those big full body movements are what you need. You don't need to be wasting time looking for the optimal program. Train full body two or three times a week. You don't need to do one body part a day because the more you hit a muscle, the more you're going to gain strength and the more you're going to be able to make more progress, right? So let's say if you can only do the bench press once a week or you can do it two or three times a week, you're gonna make so much more progress with your chest and your arms and your shoulders. So the first thing you wanna focus on is don't get lost up in all these routines. You don't actually have to go and buy a workout routine from someone. It's good to learn the basics, to understand how to do them, get a trainer to teach you, or look it up and do the research yourself, right? But it's very, very basic. Like, you don't need a, like some crazy routine It's gonna tell you to do 100 jump squats and then barbell back squat, and then next time you're gonna learn, like literally, learn how to do the squat, then learn how to do the front squat, learn how to do a goblet squat, learn all the different versions, but they don't have to be some crazy different exercise. And then what you want to do, when you know those exercises, all you want to do is progress on them every single week if you can. Increase the amount of repetitions or increase the amount of weight. You don't need some crazy like scheme of like um, like drop sets and super, super sets are good, but like drop sets and giant sets and all those things, like you really don't need it for your goals. You can get the best results possible just going, okay, this week I did six reps, next week I'm gonna do seven reps. This week I did 60 kilos, next week I'm going to do 62 kilos. Just always try and add progressive overload to your exercises. Now that's the exercise component. Let's talk about diet. What's the best diet you should follow to be able to lose weight? Well, I'll tell you what, whether you want to lose weight, whether you want to gain muscle, it doesn't matter what it is. If you look at all the diets, what do they add in cake? Fruits and vegetables, but it's vegetables, it's lean sources of meat and protein, if you're gonna have it, keep your saturated fat low, you don't want a lot of saturated fat. See healthy oils, healthy uh, fats like nuts and avocado, and then don't eat a lot of carbohydrates and refined sugar. Like honestly, what else do you need to know? We all know, right? We literally all know what we need to do. You need to eat healthy, you need to cut out a lot of the shit that you eat, and if you wanna lose weight, you need to eat a little bit less of the crappy food and refined carbohydrates. And if you want to gain muscle, you have to eat a little bit more food. You get all of your food from lean sources of protein. If you're a vegan or vegetarian, it's going to be a little bit different. You try and keep your saturated fat low. So you, that means you get more lean sources of meat. And you also try and keep your sodium low too, so you don't consume a lot of um, high sodium foods that are highly processed. It's really simple. Keep your carbohydrates, like from whole sources, whole grains, oats, sweet potato, those type of things. And you really just gotta play it like that, guys. Like, honestly, there's, if you look at it from all the history to all the way to here, 
there's not a huge amount of difference. Like, what are people doing differently? You hear about all these crazy diets, but at the end of the day, they're not sustainable because they're a diet. You need lifestyle changes and things you can do for the long run. Because remember, health and fitness is a short-term gain. It's something you're going to do for the rest of your life if you want to live a healthy and fit life. So, live with basic compound exercises, eat a healthy diet, and don't waste your money on crappy things like supplements, crappy things like crazy workout programs. Follow the basics, and I promise you, you'll get the results you want. That's the video, guys. I hope it's informative. If you've got any other questions, comment down below. I'll speak to you next time.